What's up everyone? Got this unit here showing cluster fault in the dash. So we're gonna find out what's going on with it. See if we can get this diagnosed. So here we go, opening up Diamond Logic Builder. So we're getting a whole bunch of codes here. A lot of them for our six pack position switches. Now we're getting light control module and you can see there's high counts for all those. Um, which is leading me to believe this is for the low speed data link, which is your 125K baud data link that controls your door pod switches. We have a bunch of codes in there for door pods, switch pack one and two. Um, and yeah, so the first thing I'm gonna do, check our body controller, make sure there's no corrosion or anything in that. And then I'll pull the connector off to do a resistance and uh, voltage test for that um, low speed data link. Cause we probably have an issue there that's causing our gauge cluster not to communicate. So that's what I'll start with first. I noticed something weird when I went to start this truck. Keon, you can see that cruise control light flickering pretty good. So I'm wondering if um, it could be the cluster itself that's bad. I'm going to test the power and grounds and battling to the cluster, but that shouldn't be flicking. Kind of telling me there might be an issue with the circuitry inside the cluster. So I'm still going to check out the body controller, but next thing I'll do, if I can't find anything there, is pull this cluster off, check our power grounds, and the dab link to that. Well, our body controller is looking good. Got no corrosion. I pulled off the other circuits earlier and checked them all. They're all good. So I'm going to be pulling that gauge cluster out. Checking behind there for our voltages and uh, grounds. All these are fairly simple to get to. Just pop this trim off. And then uh, got four Torx, T20 Torx screws. Remove those and then you can pull that whole cluster out. Okay, check for corrosion in here. That's looking good. Yeah, she's looking good. So you can pretty well see where your power and grounds are. Got your red power, white's ground. Got your data link. Um, so yeah. That's our voltages and grounds and our data link there. I located a wiring diagram here. So this connector goes from A1 up here down to A12 and B1 down to B12. So we could tell just by the wiring colors here. A2 is going to be our constant power, the solid red. The pink is going to be our ignition power, that's A3. B3 here is going to be our ground. Then we have this other white ground on B7. Then we have our can high and can low. Um, so we're gonna test all those circuits and see what we have. And of course, when we test our, our ignition circuit, key has to be on.